Hey guys, it's Ryan. Today I'm going to be going over how to cable knit. Cable knitting is super fun. Um, once you learn how to do it, you'll be able to knit things like, like this. To cable knit, you can use any type of knitting needle and any type of yarn, but you will want to buy one of these. Um, it's, this is a special cable knitting needle and it helps you pull down the cables. But if you don't have one of these, um, really you can use a pencil or a pen or any type of stick basically um, that's about the same size as your knitting needles. So let's get started. To start out, I've gone ahead and started knitting two cables that I'm going to be working with. And to knit your cables is just like ribbed knitting. Um, so if you don't know how to do that, I would suggest watching my video on how to combine knitting and purling together. Um, to create this ribbed pattern. You can make your cables any size you want. Um, they can be really small from just like two stitches wide or they can be really big like this one's six stitches wide. This one's pretty large. Um, you can even go larger if you want to. To begin I'm going to be focusing on this smaller cable that I have and I'm just going to show you how to work with one cable and then with this larger cable I'm actually going to show you how to make twists in it so it looks like two cables. But for now, I'm just going to knit to this first cable here. So I've knit up until two stitches right before my small cable. And you'll notice that your cables are always going to be the stockinet stitch and then bordering them are going to be the reverse of the stockinette stitch. So on the flip side it's going to be stockinette also, but on the side that's facing you is what you're going to be working with um, for your cable. So we have your small cable here, and let's say that we want to move it two stitches to the right. So to do that we're going to take these two normal stitches and move them behind your cable. And so in the next rows, the cable is going to be slightly turned to the right. To do that, you will want to take your cable needle. This is where it's going to come into play. With your cable needle, you're going to scoop off these two stitches. And then the cable needle is going to help you take them off and wrap them around your cable. So take the cable needle and scoop off these next two stitches right before the cable. Pull them off the needle and then to make your cable go to the right you're going to want to bring these to the back and then with your right needle you can bring that in now and then knit your cable like you normally would And now that we've moved the cable over the two stitches, we can bring them back up on this side. And it's going to be kind of tight and a little, it's going to feel a little awkward at first. And remember this is a purl stitch, so we're going to want to purl these two stitches back on to the row. And it will feel kind of tight, but you'll probably get used to the feel of it. And once you've knitted them off, you can move your cable, knit, cable needle and then you can purl the rest of your row. Now that we've finished that row, it's not going to look like we did a whole lot, but you'll see that the cable has just slightly moved over those two stitches. And when we knit our back row, you'll be able to see that even more. On your back row, you're going to not do any cabling, you're just going to knit everything. 
um, just following the stockinette stitch. So knit the knits and purl the purls. The purls on this side, since it's the reverse, the purls are actually going to be your cables that you did in the front. And so if you look carefully, you can tell um, that here's the two stitches that we brought over the cable on the, la on the previous side. So when you're knitting this back side, you'll want to be sure to knit the knits and purl the purls, but be careful because you did switch those two stitches and bring them over. And now we're flipping back over to the side that's facing us with the cables. And I'm just gonna knit past everything up until the small cable again. We're back at the small cable again, and I stopped two stitches right before the cable. And you can see that it's slightly turned to the right. And so I wanna continue that movement to the right. So I'm actually gonna take these next two purl stitches and then do the same thing that we did before. I'm gonna bring them around the back and then knit them back on. Take your cable needle and slide off those two stitches and bring it down around to the back. And you can hold it between your two fingers, whatever is comfortable for you, um, as long as they're just out of the way and going behind your cable, that's perfectly fine. So I'm gonna knit those next three stitches now. three and now I'm going to bring back up the cable those two stitches and I'm going to purl them remember not to knit them we're going to want to purl these next two stitches off you can get rid of your cable needle and then you can purl the rest of the row. I'm gonna knit past this row and then past the next row just to speed ahead and show you how to do that one more time. Now we're back at our small cable and now you can really see the curve of the cable now that we've pulled it in that direction. So now it's actually skipped over four stitches so there's definitely you can really see that change in direction. So now I'm going to show you Let's say that we want to bring the cable back to the left. So now it's going right. Let's say we want to bring it back to where it was. I'm going to purl through these two stitches that I stopped at right before the cable. And now to bring the cable to the left, you're going to take your cable needle and slide off your cable. So we're going to slide off these three stitches. And then we're going to purl two stitches behind it and then bring back on the cable. So we're basically doing the exact opposite of everything that we were doing before. With your cable on your cable needle, you're gonna keep that to the front. So pull the cable to the front and behind your cable and behind the cable needle, we're going to purl two stitches. So we're still purling behind the cable, but this time because we're going to the left, you're going to have to bring the cable to the front. So after purling those two stitches, bring your yarn to the back and then you can knit off those three stitches for the cable. And then you can pull it off and put away your cable needle. And then you're gonna purl the rest of the row. I'm gonna purl the rest of this row and purl the back side and I will show you what it looks like. Back at the little cable now, um, you can see that it's slightly starting to turn to the left. Um, I'm going to bring it two stitches to the left again. 
with your cable on your cable needle. You bring that down to the front and then purl two stitches along the back behind the cable. It's gonna look kind of a tangled mess, but when you bring the cable back up, it'll start coming together and you'll get an idea of what it needs to, where everything needs to go. So I'm gonna bring my cable back up and then knit the three stitches off of my cable. knit the rest of the row and knit the back side. Now you can really start to see the cable's path. We have it going up and to the right and then we brought it over to the left. So it's creating a nice little zigzag. And you can keep doing this for as long as you want. You can bring it as far to the left as you want or as far to the right as you want. You'll only want to work about two or three stitches at a time though. Once you jump into like four or five everything gets a little tight and pretty difficult to work with. With my larger cable, I'm actually going to do a twist. So it's going to look like two cables that are twisting over each other or one big cable that's just being twisted. Um, and so that's why I made it larger. I purled everything up until the point of the cable because in this case, we're not going to be moving the cable in any direction. We're just gonna be working with these six stitches. So to make my twist, I'm going to take my cable needle, slide off these three stitches, and you can either bring them to the front or pull them over to the back, whichever you're comfortable with, um, and whichever way you want your cable to twist. I'm going to slide these off. Now if I bring my three stitches to the front, it's going to cause my the twist in this cable to be moving to the left, basically. So it's going to be twisted diagonally up and to the left. If I bring it down to the back, then the twist in this cable is going to be going to the left, because I'll be bringing these three next stitches over these three that I'm pulling behind. So I brought my cable behind everything and I'm just going to knit these stitches, not purl them. And then I've knit those three and I'm going to knit off the next three from my cable needle. And since we are cabling kind of a thicker cable, things are gonna be a lot tighter um, but that shouldn't be a problem. Again, just knit the rest of the row. When you're knitting the back side of that larger cable, it's gonna feel really tight and it's going to look like a mess, but you won't need to worry about it. You just need to purl through those six stitches like normal. After knitting that back side, you can get a clearer idea of what the twist in that cable looks like. Um, the only problem though is that right now, since it is three stitches going over three stitches, it is very tight. So I'm going to knit past this row like normal and then knit the backside like normal just to give it a little more extra slack before going in and making another twist with the cable needle. So now that I've run along the back and the front for a couple more rows, it's given my cable a lot more slack so I can add another twist in it. Using your cable needle, slide off those first three stitches from the cable. And then pull them to the back behind everything. And then knit the next three stitches from the second half of that cable. And then once you've done that, 
bring back your cable needle with the three stitches and knit them off. And now, after just doing that right away, you can definitely see more of the twist beginning, beginning to form. So you can just repeat that um, for as long as you want and that twist is just going to keep growing and become longer. Now I've knit a couple more rows and done one more twist here and now you can get a really good idea of what the twisted cable is sort of turning into. Um, it looks really nice in any knitting project that you do and then also over here we have the smaller cable that I have and I just kept that pattern going um, making kind of a little zigzag there. I'll be doing more videos in the future uh, showing a couple advanced ways of cabling but until then just keep practicing and experimenting with the different types of cables that you can make and then also remember to always subscribe and like if you found the video to be helpful and I will see you next time.